Welcome to Coin Chartist. I'm Tony the Bull Spilotro, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through why Bitcoin is about to embark on a journey to new all time highs and a possible target of $161,800. While that target might at this point sound unrealistic, the following analysis will use Elliott Wave Theory and proven Fibonacci extensions to back up the bold call. This idea also suggests that Bitcoin's bull market never ended, despite the long downtrend, but a true bear market will follow after this grand finale. The video even explains why targets of 10k might never happen. The basis of this analysis centers around a possible wave 4 correction ending and a dramatic wave 5 beginning. Before I deep dive into why I believe Bitcoin is where it is in its market cycle, and it's not where the masses think it is, I will cut to the chase by validating the possibility of my target with evidence. The simplest justification for the target is a projected Fibonacci extension to 1.618. The 2018 Bitcoin bear market cycle began when CME BTC futures launched in December 2017. For the bulk of this analysis, I'll be using the CME BTC chart. Barring a Fibonacci extension from the very open of the BTC CME chart to the 2018 bear market bottom perfectly projected the 2021 Wave 3 peak. Another 1.618 extension from the 2021 high to the current 2022 low projects a possible high of, you guessed it, 161,800 per BTC. Interestingly, 161k Bitcoin is 100k multiplied by the golden ratio of 1.618. In Elliott Wave Theory, Fibonacci ratios are common termination points where each wave can end, but more on that later in this video. Because I'm using Elliott Wave Theory for my analysis, assuming the recent bottom concluded a Wave 4 correction, we can now draw a parallel channel from Wave 2's termination point to Wave 4's termination point and extend the other side of the channel to Wave 3's peak to project a possible stopping point for Wave 5. Since this is complicated, I've included a schematic of how this works as an example. The channel, once again like magic, stops almost precisely at $161,800 per BTC. But Tony, how do we know what wave we're in? This is the most important part of my video. Starting from the 2018 bear market bottom, we have had two waves up and two waves down for a total of four out of five waves. In Elliott Wave Theory, mode of waves always move in fives, with odd numbered waves moving with the trend and even numbered waves moving against the primary trend. According to the Elliott Wave guideline of alternation, wave two and wave four should feature unique corrective behavior. In wave two, we had a sharp correction that retraced almost all of wave one, a common characteristic of a wave two correction. While it may not appear very complex in nature, Wave 2 was also a complex correction. Again, we'll explain this further later on in the video. Other signs we are dealing with a 5-wave mode of wave include Wave 1 being the shortest of the uptrends, Wave 3 being the longest, and the fact that Wave 4 never overlapped into Wave 1 territory. Wave 1 began after the 2018 bear market. We know this was a true bear market because BTCUSD corrected a full 84% from peak to trough. Further counting out the entire bear market makes the corrective behavior much more clear. The A wave down was itself a minor ABC correction. At the height of the B wave, Bitcoin began to form a descending triangle in a bear market. Triangles only appear in the wave prior to completion of a move, which let the market know that once the C wave ended, the bottom was in. Projecting a bottom target using an extension of the A wave results in roughly 3,200 per BTC. From the bottom, a wave one appears when no one expects it and it reminds the market that the asset is not dead despite the long downtrend. Each bullish wave up forms as an impulse with five subwaves. Wave three of the subwave is extended with the five clear subwaves of its own. Once again, the wave one rally stopped at an important Fibonacci level, precisely the 0.786 retracement level. Next, we have the first correction following the start of a new bull market. During a wave two, sentiment believes that the bear market isn't yet over and that new lows are possible. 
Although the correction was shorter than what we saw in Wave 4, Wave 2 was much sharper. It was also complex in nature. While regular corrections are labeled as ABC in Elliott Wave Theory, complex corrections are labeled as WXY and sometimes Z. WXY connects each minor zigzag correction labeled as ABC. Yet again, the Wave 2 rally fizzled out at the 0.786 Fib level. Because Bitcoin withstood the onset of the COVID pandemic and didn't make a new low, this told the market that the direction next would be up. And this also caused more participants to jump in on the trend than ever before. This is exactly why Wave 3 tends to be the longest and strongest of all five waves. Because each wave was extended, all subwaves have a clear five wave count on their own. The rally this time stopped out at the 1.618 Fibonacci extension from the 27 all time high extended to the bear market bottom in 2018. Although it might not have felt like a very flat correction, Bitcoin might have completed an expanded flat in its wave 4 placement. Expanded flats are deceiving because unlike zigzags and other corrections, they result in a higher high during the B wave before the C wave slices through everything on its path on the way back down in five waves of an impulse. Much like impulse waves up, the extended wave 3 has clear five subwaves down. And even though the correction had many different phases, Overall, the correction is considered simple due to its ABC corrective pattern. So what then comes next in Bitcoin? If our Wave 4 correction has ended and Wave 5 has begun, Bitcoin's bull market should continue and continue with strength to the upside. Considering the significant bearish sentiment and the fact that impulses in Bitcoin tend to last no more than 3-6 to six months, the peak of the bull run could be coming in 2023. So... How do we know that a new bullish impulse is beginning? Waves in their timing appear to be cyclical in nature to some degree. Cycles come in harmonics of halves and thirds. Using a one-third harmonic, we can see that there are three major corrections between the bear market bottom and now. A larger cyclical wave appears to be helping pick up Bitcoin in a more dramatic way. Zooming out further, we can see the cyclical nature of the larger bull cycle dates all the way back through the entire history of Bitcoin. Each time the cycle reached a new low in terms of timing, it also touched the bottom of a logarithmic buy zone. The first cycle in Bitcoin saw a 50,000% ROI rise. The second cycle had 10,000% ROI. The third cycle had a grand total of 1,800% ROI for its rally, reaching $161,800 from the current Bitcoin Wave 4 low would be a little more than a 900% increase. Considering the law of diminishing returns, the target is well within reason for the top cryptocurrency by market cap. If you enjoyed this video, more content is on the way. Don't let investing or trading crypto be a flip of the coin. Subscribe, like, comment, and share.